This is our floating home that we are currently sailing to Alaska. We've now caught up with the winter in British Columbia and the first real snowfall always feels magical. This time of the year most other people lay up their boats and wait for warmer days, but we are continuing our voyage as usual. Time to go sailing. We are just kind of lazily sailing along towards Dodds Narrows. That's a small pass in front of us where the currents can run around seven to nine knots at their peak. So we are going to try and time it at slack current. And we are continuing our way north towards Alaska. Winter sailing, that's what we are going to be doing. As you might know, our boat is called Lumi, which is Finnish for snow. So she is finally in her element. We don't have our plastic shovel and our broom yet. That's those are like two of the most used items for us during the winter and we don't have them yet. So the deck is kind of uh, sketchy right now. So I don't think we're going to be hosting the main sale today, but uh, we need to get the shovel and the broom. Then we are good to go. Then we are set for the winter. We are now entering the region where you really have to pay attention to the tidal currents and it seems like these tidal narrows and passes with fast moving currents are pretty much everywhere. Going through these narrows is best done when the current is changing direction but this period of so-called slack current might last only 5 to 15 minutes so you really have to time your daily passages accordingly. Dodds Narrows is easy to navigate, so for us it was a good introduction to these issues. And we went through with no problems, despite us being a little bit late and having a bit of current against us. This kind of a day is a pretty nice winter sailing day. Just pretty calm winds and flat water. If it's really blowing then it does get kind of cold. And right now, you know, Sophie is, she's downstairs working on her laptop. We still have a lot of work that we need to do each day, both on the boat but also on our laptops. Now we are closing into Nanaimo. We are just gonna dock in literally just maybe 10 or 15 minutes and we're gonna pick up the snow shovel and my sister. And when she gets here, we are gonna continue north. Um, we are on our sailboat just outside the breakwater and I wanted to ask you about transient uh, mooring. Okay, great. J Dog uh, Northside. Thanks so much. We've been here in Nanaimo for the evening now. I just want to show you what it looks like outside. 
take a look at this it is snowing that's our winch over there one winch two winches I didn't quite realize that there is a snowstorm warning for today actually let's just walk to the walk to the bow it's very snowy it's just this magical type of very calm evening or a night and it's just snowing just us and mostly the fishing boats here in the outer harbor not really much going on as far as I understand this kind of a snowfall is actually quite rare this far south the boat itself inside it looks very cozy with the light coming through the windows and the hatches but uh, the truth is it's still a bit chilly outside because uh, sorry inside because we are still not fully set up for winter we don't have all the heating systems running and we haven't really insulated the windows yet and all of that stuff but we are getting there Se niin kuin talven mukana sieltä yeah. Ravaniemeltä. <laughs> Täällä on lämmin. <laughs> Meet my sister Vera, who normally lives in Rovaniemi in northern Finland. For her, this is just like being in the Caribbean. Meidän pitää mennä ostaa se lumilapia. Ai niin joo, eikö täällä ole sellaista? <laughs> Ei. <laughs> One hour later. Only found a kid's shovel. I guess they are sold out because it snowed and everyone was buying snow shovels. Vera got a lot of money. I have Arvosana anna sille lapialle. No, onhan se ihan sepä. Vähän epäjärjestelmien suhteessa. Neljä kautta kymmenen. I also broke the broomstick within the first two minutes, so... Our equipment is not really that great right now. Support us in purchasing a new quality broomstick by subscribing to the channel. It helps us out and won't cost you a single penny. And if you do have a few extra pennies, then check out the Patreon page. The link is in the description. The boat is ship shape for tomorrow. A little bit slippery on the deck. <laughs> Impossible to get all of the snow off. No one else is uh, shoveling their boats because they know that uh, in just three days it's gonna be warm again and everything's going to melt. We want to sail the next few days, so we just have to get it off. We 
we got the fuel and what's even more important is that we are getting some water because in the winter the water is the difficult thing because they close the water taps at the docks and then after that you can't you just can't get water anymore some problems associated with this is that the these are of course completely frozen and they are a bad design as well so it's hard to get the water tanks open and also the hatches on this boat seem to like to freeze shut aluminum i guess is a little bit worse in that regard than fiberglass i didn't really have this problem on uh, the fiberglass boat on sylvia kokeile <laughs> avata Täällä varmaan olisi ihan kätevä joku semmoinen nainti ja haku. Mennään nostaa purjeen. Sinne. This is what it can be like sailing in the winter. First, we had uh, a bit of good wind, we were sailing in Beam Ridge, and it was actually supposed to continue. We were supposed to have 20 to 25 knots pretty much uh, all the way to Comox, but 12 at the moment it's flat calm and there is nothing happening. We still have the mainsail up. But it's not doing anything and in front of us I can see some dark clouds and probably snow, like scattered snow showers and that's usually causing the wind to get all messed up because the wind should be coming from behind but then the clouds that with the snow showers, you know, they are... the wind is coming from there as well so then these two wind zones converge here and uh, that results in no wind. The motoring is not that bad either, at least we are covering some miles and that's nice, we'll take that in the winter. We are not really tourists in that regard. You know, if there's no wind, we'll just motor and especially in winter, that's just fine. We took the sails down and motor to Comox, where we performed a nice reversing maneuver to get into our berth. This was a new harbor to us and it looked somewhat tight, so I always prefer backing up if possible. 
then you at least always have an avenue of escape. Next day when we walk up, most of the harbor looks like a giant slushy. Welcome to sailing in the winter, I guess. Thanks for watching, that was it for this time. I'm already putting the next video together and in that one we encounter some seriously icy and snowy conditions again. So please subscribe if you want to see that one. See you all next time, bye bye.